First on 7 News at noon, we're seeing some areas in the upstate starting to flood as that rain came through. Yeah, we're going to head right over to 7 weather meteorologist Malachi Rogers for the latest on how long the rain will stick around. We certainly saw it this morning. Malachi. Yeah, we saw the rain this morning, Taylor and Fred, and it was heavy at times this morning, but that's not the case right now. As we take a live look, you're starting to see clearing through areas of Bryson City, Oconee, Pickens, Anderson in the upstate of South Carolina and North Carolina as the heaviest of the rain has moved well to our east. Now, over the last two days, and this is the two day total, we've seen between one and a half to two and a half, three inches of rainfall in Spartanburg, Greenville, Anderson, and even Asheville. And that did cause some localized flooding early this morning. The good news is that we're still looking at a flash flood watch for these areas, but this is just mainly for runoff. Earlier this morning, the floods were in areas of Lawrence County, Union County, and Cherokee County. That has been allowed to expire, and what we're watching out for now is just a little bit of runoff. The good news is that with clearing skies and dry weather, no more rain is falling. So temperatures are in the 70s and 60s across the area right now. And as you're making plans for the evening, expect dry weather through the afternoon and evening. Highs in the 70s in the upstate, upper 60s in the mountains. We're clearing out, but getting a lot cooler this weekend. Those details are coming up in our seven day forecast. Awesome. Thanks, Malachi. Glad to see the weather looking up, but the rain did cause flooding problems across the upstate and across the Carolinas. Take a look at this video from Lawrence Street in Lyman in Spartanburg County. We're told that part of the street was blocked off until the waters receded. And the heavy rain caused major flooding problems in North Carolina as well. Take a look at this bridge near Charlotte. It was washed out by high flood waters overnight. We're told there have been multiple reports of rescues in that area. So far, though, no injuries have been reported. A seven